this is the bare minimum. Um, this, some people say that this is a first step, but we've already had first steps and that hasn't led us anywhere. The emissions are still increasing, we are experiencing record highs. Um, this, this text is toothless and it is nowhere even close to being sufficient to keep us within the 1.5 degree limit. It is a stab in the back for those most vulnerable and it was undemocratic. It was uh, signed when, when many island states were not in the room. And that is completely unacceptable and we cannot talk about climate justice without having the most affected in the room. Okay, so first off let's talk about the climate cultists waving around free Palestine. Um, that's idiotic because some of your climate cult members are probably pro-Israel. That being said, I think that's her attempt to diversify the climate cultists. Because I'm looking at all these people in this video and I'm seeing a lot of who white people. I guess the more accurate saying would be who white liberal women. Up and coming Karens, I guess. So I'm gonna go with she's trying to diversify her climate cult. This is a bad idea because what's another word for diversification? Division. And what does division bring? Conflict. All you have to do is look at what's happening in Ireland. They wanted to diversify, and by they I mean the powers that be. And now they got division and conflict. You have Irish natives that are setting fire to things like hotels and such because those, these hotels were set to house migrants. So, yeah, Irish are ticked off. I can't really blame them because if you think about it, for what, eight, nine hundred years, Ireland was brutally occupied, colonized by English slash British, and then they finally get their independence. And what does the government wind up doing? They wind up bringing in more colonizers. And me personally, I would say these new colonizers are worse than the English slash British in that the new colonizers, they have the support of the Irish government in terms of financing, housing, and so on. And at least with the British. Scots were also part of the British, so they were at least Celtic. But, you know, that's my diversity. All right, back on to the climate cultists. This is the bare minimum. Um, this, some people say that this is a first step, but we've already had first steps, and that hasn't led us anywhere. The emissions are still increasing. We are experiencing record highs. Here's a thought. If you're worried about the emissions increasing, how about you take your little climate cult to China or maybe India and protest there? Because even if Western governments gave you exactly what you wanted and deindustrialized, all those industries would go straight to China and India. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if industries started using the climate cultists as a reason to move to China and India. Why? It's cheaper labor, cheaper unions, cheaper building codes. I've heard a rumor in China, and this is just a rumor, that they have slave labor. So I could be wrong because it's a rumor, but it's a rumor I heard. Uyghur Muslims. And going back to the video. And as long as we keep lobby interests influencing these texts and these processes, we are not going to get anywhere. Could just be me, but in my opinion, these climate cultists, they're influencing everything. Because now we have carbon taxes, now we have all this EV government financing, you know, to prop up the EV cars, etc. And now people are talking about banning meat because cow farts eat the bugs. Oh, and again, I made a video a while back about how the Dutch government was going to take farmers' land. There was a whole protest about it. I think the German government was doing the same thing to save my climate. 
So in summary, I view these climate cultists as nothing more than a puppet of the powers that be in that one, it gives the government the opportunity to bring in a carbon tax. Two, the government can tell people what to eat, the bugs. And three, it gives the government the ability to use taxpayer dollars to buy people's land so people can't grow their own food. Anyway, take care out there in clown world.